Welcome everybody, friends and furs of all species. I'm Dizzy Hyena, and we're back with another episode of Ding and Rappa Goodbye Despair. And yes! Yes! This is motherfucking dead! I'm so excited! This is motherfucking dead! Oh my god. Like, I know I ain't shit for being like, oh hey, you gone, my buddy. But like, for real, like he was just just the fucking worst. He was the worst. And I cannot stand him. But he's dead now. So that's good. Also, what's not so good is the fact that they just they pinyatted this motherfucker. They just beat the shit out of every single thing they could. So hey. We'll have to get looking, huh? I never expected Nagito to die like this. I expected suicide. He was always spouting nonsense about hope and trying to confuse the hell out of us. Yes, he fucking was. But even so, dying like this is just too cruel. Also, he wasn't completely useless. There were times we were only able to reach the truth because of him. But everything good and bad about him is gone. We'll never be confused by him again. We'll never be saved by him again. No, now's not the time to think of unnecessary things. I need to focus on the investigation right now. Damn, his face is fucking me up. For now, I need to investigate everything about this body that catches my eye. Well, he was stabbed in the leg. That's not- Both Nagito's legs are tied up. They really are. Each rope is tied to the pillars nearby. He wouldn't have been able to move at all. According to the Monokuma file, the wounds on his legs were all the stab wounds. Does that mean the killer didn't just tie up Nagito, they also stabbed his legs? Why would the killer do something like this? Because he was talking too much shit. And this is what happens, children, when you talk that shit. At any rate, it's pretty sadistic. The killer must have been holding a huge grudge towards him, which then says any of us here. Or they might have been torturing him. Says any of us here. Torture? I mean, if they just wanted to kill him, they could have just stabbed him onto the chest, right? If you disregard the spirit in his chest, all the other wounds inflicted are... For the reasons other than killing. Which means the wounds all over Nagito's body was from the to killer torturing him? If that's the case, what was the killer trying to make Nagito confess? Was it something that would have led to the traitor? <laughs> well, even if this was torture, there's no doubt the killer must have held a deep grudge towards Nagito. If you didn't let him die easy, I could totally understand a dark impulse like that. My man! <laughs> but even if they held a grudge against him, would they really have gone this far? I might have. Okay, the spear. A spear with a flashy ornament on its... On it is impaled deeply into Nagito's... I know how to read, guys, I swear to god. There's no way around it. That looks like the fatal wound. Almost. Oh my! What's this? Such a strange looking spear, isn't it? A cord extends from the tip of the handle, and there's the iron weight attached to it. I see, I see! If you use the cord as a whip to capture the enemy and deliver the final blow with the spear. Is this your first time looking at this too? I won't say you have to watch my original let's play I'll link somewhere uh whenever he skewered a motherfucker didn't he go I summon good news spear whatever you 
definitely just came up with that now. By the way, I wanted to ask you, where did that spear come from? Nozumi Castle. I feel like I saw it at Nozumi Castle. What? Nozumi Castle? I was designed to be afraid of mice, so I can't go in there. I see, even he doesn't know what's inside that castle. Well, more importantly, I need to focus on the investigation. The spear definitely catches my eyes, but the weight on the end of the cord coming out of the hand. It looks like that part has blood on it too. But for some reason, the section of the cord doesn't have blood on it. That is weird, because it looks, yeah. It's about the size of a human fist. It's strange that the section of core doesn't have any blood on it. Also, Chiaki mentioned this earlier, but apparently that spear came from Nizumi Castle. It might be better if I confirm that later. Okay. Knife! The knife is stabbed through Nagito's right hand. Did the killer do this? How could they do something so cruel? Easy, let me show you. It must be from the military base. Military base? Ah, uh, now that you mention it, you're right. It looks like a sur It looks like a Rambo looking motherfucking knife. Well, by the way, it seems the wounds on his legs and left arm were caused by that same knife. Which means after the killer was finished stabbing Na Nagito's legs and left arm, they stabbed it through his hand. Damn. It cannot be. And then they finished him off with a spear. How, how cruel. Then does that mean the killer went to the trouble of using two weapons, a knife and a spear? But they could have just killed him by stabbing him with the knife. Why did they need to use the spear at all? Cause spears are awesome. That is definitely strange. Was there a reason they had to use it? A reason they had to use a spear, huh? To send a motherfucking message. Burnt rope. Nagito's right wrist is tied with rope. It looks like the tip of the rope is burned off. Could this be a result of the fire? But that's weird. The rope is burned off like this. Why are Nagito's clothes completely unaffected by the fire when he was so close to the blaze? Face! He must have been in great pain. He clearly had this agonizing look on his face when he died. His mouth is covered with dust tape. Was that to keep Nagito from screaming for help? I wouldn't have shown up. Jeez, my horrible look out on his face. The blood splattered all over. Don't help it either. It's a good thing that his mouth is covered with duct tape. Otherwise, I'll be able to look at him. I've got a minute. Sorry, excuse me. Chiaki moved past Kazuichi Mi and squatted down next to Nagito's face. Ah, lordy lord. Okay. And with one swift movement, she ripped the duct tape off his mouth. Damn. Hey, what are you doing? It's gonna be fine. Uh, it'll be fine. I'll put it back right away once I'm done investigating here. Put that tape back ain't this. You won't break the spine. How dare you talk to my girl like that? Apologize to her right now! Yo go get cussed! Uh, the blood on Nagito's face. It looked like it mostly came from the slice on his left arm. Huh, if that's the case. It's no use, he ain't listening. Hey, hey. hey, about the blood splatter on his face. There's no blood under the duct tape. So they duct taped it first. What's wrong with that? Well, this duct tape has crinkles. 
like it was stinking towards the inside of his mouth, right? Nagito was probably desperately moving his mouth under the duct tape. Seriously, what's wrong with that? She means Nagito's mouth is covered with duct tape before he got all those wounds all over his body. So he tried to shout, which caused the duct tape to get sucked into his mouth a bit. What's wrong with that? Is there something we really need to worry about? Uh, I really don't get it! But just put the duct tape back on with his mouth already! Yeah, you're right. Anyway, this might be some kind of clue too. I should remember it. Oh lord. There's a cut on his upper left arm. His legs and right hand have stab wounds, but this wound looks like a slice. That's probably the reason why the wound on his left arm doesn't look that deep compared to his other wounds. But regardless, it doesn't change the fact that it's a hideous wound and there's blood everywhere. Uh, there's something strange. Strange what? Look at the palm of his left hand. I think that blood is from where his left arm was sliced, but... He was... Was he... We looked at the spear and it said that there was like a fish-sized place. Was he holding the thing? Like... And that's why his hand is cleaned and everything else is all bloody, because... He could've, uh... This, this could've been, uh... He teamed up, he finally teamed up with someone. So, they are like, hey, do this, and hold the spear, and then they fucked him up. Does it? The blood spatter looks strange. It cuts off right in the middle of his palm. Yeah, it definitely cuts off. Maybe that's as far as the blood could reach when it splattered. Well, that would explain the blood on his palm, but... Huh? Is there something else strange? When you flip it over and look at the back of his hand... The hair... There's also blood, but only above the middle joint of each finger. You're right. Why is it only on this part? See, See just as I said, right? It's strange, right? You damn right. I win. You damn right, you do? Yeah, sure, you win. But it's definitely strange. What did the killer do to make the blood splatter like this? I guess I'm done with the area surrounding Nagito's body. Jeez, I can't believe I actually investigated such a grisly looking body. I feel like after the kids get out of this situation, they should all just like come together. Cause like they've all reached top tier level investigating. And they should make their own private investigation. <laughs> A private investigation, like, thing. That'd be funny. Even I'm surprised at it myself. Does this mean I'm used to it? My classmate's dead body right in front of me, and one of my peers is the killer responsible. And I have to investigate his death so I can find his killer. Am I used to something as abnormal as that? That would mean I'm becoming abnormal too. Let's talk to Soda. Why does kill Nagito in such a cruel way? I is too bizarre. I can't do anything but laugh. Yeah, you're about as much help as I thought. She looks like she's deep in thought while staring at the ceiling. What happened? Is there something strange about the ceiling? Yep. Yeah, about the sprinkler. That's the one of the sprinkler heads that activated to put out the fire. Well... You can see a girder right next to it, right? There. See? Oh shit, there's blood. Can you see that red streak? No, but I can see a hot pink streak. 
Huh? You're right. I definitely see it. Looks like a small red line on the ceiling girder. Perhaps. Is that blood? Blood? The color definitely looks like blood, but there's no way blood could get up there, right? Plus, it's in a straight line. That's why I've been staring at it. I think it's strange. It's definitely strange. I should remember this. It looks like it's from the cord, maybe. Okay, I'm not gonna ignore this any longer. What the fuck is wrong with this Monokuma? Monokuma's dead! There's blood coming out of his stomach! Hey! No response! He's dead, Jim! Just kidding! I'm not dead! This is one of the life-size plushies that were being produced at the factory? Stuffed animal, too. Don't put all his dead garbage there! It's so misleading! What are you calling oversized garbage? Could this be one of Monokuma's tricks? Then why'd he do it? Making a hole like it got stabbed and going through the trouble of dirtying the hole with blood? Did he try to in Imitate Nagino's body or something? Hey, that would make sense. Like, they got the spear wound. Hey, I had something to do with that! Huh? He's probably lying! Seriously, you're always dying! You should just die like that plushie over there! What's you that? seem more pissed than usual these days! Mother me, but you better watch what you say! You know? I won't give in to your threats. I'll fight until the very end. I'll definitely take back the seat of the world supremacy from Monokuma. Oh, my lord. <sighs> Looks like the, those annoyances are gone. If it wasn't Monokuma's trick, who did this? Could the killer have done this? If so, is this Nagito's blood? I have no idea how this connects to the incident. I don't know either. Not right now. Fire grenades. Oh yeah. Looks like a bunch of plastic bottles. Remnant of the plastic are scattered all over the place. This is probably... Those fire grenades that we used to put out the fire. Well, they weren't actually useful in the end. Fire was only extinguished thanks to the sprinklers. Well, nevertheless, the evidence really isn't all that strange. Lighter. A lighter? Ah, this is... Yeah, the... It's an oil lighter. This is... This is where the curtains would have been hanging. It also looks like the fire did extensions damage here. If the oil lighter was placed here... Ah, an oil lighter. Somebody probably wanted to keep warm. It is a most foolish thought. This is clearly the cause of the fire. Thank you. I was about to call you an idiot. I'm glad I didn't. Oil lighters can continue to burn even after someone lets go of them. Which means? So using that, the curtain was set on fire. Using the oil lighter, huh? You think the killer set up some sort of trick with it? The killer probably planned to destroy evidence by setting this White House on fire. They caused a fire to destroy evidence. That's the only reason I could think that of why a killer would set fire to the crime scene, but... I'm not freaking out about it like Kazuichi, but I definitely can't stop thinking about it. When the Monokuma timer reaches zeros two days from now, what's gonna happen? I don't 
know what's gonna happen. This is my school trip going in, right? We can finally go back home. If home is heaven, then I'll see some of you there. Some, well, that's bold of me to assume that I'd be going to heaven. <laughs> Carefree to the end. Does that mean you don't think it'll happen? Well, yeah. Monokuma might be planning to make us do something after the countdown ends. Hey. What do you mean, something? Shut up. He's making us kill each other, you know? What could be worse than that? Orgy. <laughs> I don't know. But this is Monokuma we're talking about, you know? There's no way this will end smoothly with a countdown. Anyway, like you said before, if we screw this up here, the end, it's the end for us. For now, let's focus on the investigation. We'll think about the countdown after we all live through the class trial. Yeah, I know. It's all pretty no strange stuff like that. It mattered for Gundam's killing and for Mikan's, but it looks like it's different this time. It doesn't matter this time. What well, doesn't matter? Uh, the time looks like the time doesn't matter. It was clearly written in the Monokuma file. The time was death was new and sharp. If it was at noon, what were we doing at that time? Huh, what were we doing? Well, right now it's... It's 12.30 p.m. So it ha also has a clock function. Then that means Nagito died 30 minutes ago. Huh? It happened that recently? He's totally a fresh kill. Fresh seems like a bad way to describe it. Huh, if it happened 30 minutes ago, was it around the time we were struggling with those bombs? Right, those fake bombs were originally supposed to explode at noon, and oh my god, Sonya wasn't with us! No! It better not be her. I swear to god, it better not be Sonya. Which means whoever doesn't have an alibi for that time is Nagito's killer! Well, since Akane said it, then it's not Sonya. So, thank god. But this could be like when Haneku Maru died, the killer could have used some kind of automatic setup. Also, the creme looks very detailed, so they would have needed time to prepare. That right. whoever doesn't have an alibi for, before we found the bombs is suspicious. We were all spread up. Yeah. Wait, none of us have an alibi for that time. That's when we split up to search for the bombs. Yeah, that's the problem. Now then, I guess that's enough investigating the area behind the curtain. The killer's goal wasn't just killing Nagito. There should have been another reason as well. If not, they wouldn't have gone to the trouble of tying him up with rope and covering his mouth with duct tape. Not just that, there's no reason to inflict any wounds other than the fatal one. So what was the reason? Looks like I better investigate other areas to figure that out. Alright, I should try investigating the other areas inside the warehouse first. Oh, it looks like Domino- <gasps> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! I just- I, I figured something out! Cause like, I just automatically my brain went, ooh, dominoes! But it looks like it went ba 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 <gasps> Oh my god, okay, uh, when Akane was trying to open the door, uh, they could, she couldn't open the door, right? So she had to ba! The panels were probably what was causing, uh, it to do that, and then it went ba 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 and it knocked over the oil lighter. And that's what set the fire to go whoosh. That's why it went on fire almost instantly after we came in. Because it went bu -bu 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 -bu. I'm smart. 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 Hey. <laughs> but that's just a theory right now. <laughs> there are a lot tipped over Monokuma panels. The panel near the curtain in the back tipped over and burned. Did the fire do that? No shit, Sherlock. But why are they scattered like this? The last time I came here, I seem to recall. They should have been neatly put away. Maybe we're the one... Maybe we're the 
ones who made this mess. Huh? Look at the tipped over panel by the entrance is really close to the door, right? So maybe the reason these panels are tipped over is... It's fine, I'll open it slowly. No, that's not the problem. Seriously, it'll be fine. With those words, Akane brushed off everyone's warning and slowly opened the door to the warehouse. Clatter, 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 clatter. Huh? It's not opening! There's something black in the door. I can barely open it. I know it is the trap season. Just stop it, okay? Didn't I tell you it'll be fine? I just gotta use a little more force. What happened to open it slowly? Akane or ignored the protest and with a mighty kick, the door flew open. Could it be? Was that it? Well, and there's something else I've been wondering. Hey, hey. These Monokuma panels are tipped over starting from the entrance to the back of the warehouse, right? They seem to be lying on top of each other in a straight line. Yeah, compared to the other tipped over panels that end this line, only one... Oh. Yeah, compared to the other tipped over panels, that line is the only one that's neat and orderly. Isn't this clearly strange? Strange, that means. We can speculate this was done intentionally. See, I'm getting good at this. I am smart now. Oh, shit. The music play- oh my god. This is an mp3 player. There's even a speaker plugged into it. But why is this here? Okay. Looks like that we have music was playing from there! You know that music that was playing and the first started? Yeah, you're right. Looks like- Looks like it got busted from getting drenched by the sprinklers. Thank god, I could not listen to that. But, maybe the- 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 the, 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 the music because it was so loud and stuff that it covered up the sound of all the panels going da 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 or whatever else whatever the trap other things of the trap is there's no mistaking it the music that music was playing for my mp3 play I don't disagree with that but why was the killer playing music from this Mm. Looks like this side is completely soaked because of the sprinkler. Even if there was an important clue here, we might not be able to notice it. But it's better than the warehouse burning to the ground. Good thing that we were able to put out the fire. But there was a lot of smoke. It's a good thing we didn't go inside when we were throwing the grenades. I agree. If we did, we would have become caught by the sprinklers and become all wet and soggy. Oh my lord. Miss Sonia's all wet! She's just that soggy! This horny bastard. Ha <laughs> ha hey, You were thinking that, huh? Soda was. <laughs> yeah, she was! I wasn't thinking that at all! Why are you responding, Kazu Ichi? I was asking Hajime! <laughs> he caught him! Yo, screw loot mate! Oh my, screwing how loot! Hey, hey, this is a clean channel! It's not that I've already mentioned orgies or whatever, this is a clean Christian channel on my Minecraft server! <laughs> Bullshit, Harrison, fuck as much as you want. Don't look at me with such fear eyes! I don't limit you! Oh my god, I'm getting hurt! <laughs> a second too long! Cause the way to use a probably keep your mouth shut already! <laughs> 
Oh my god, my head. Looks like Sonya is focused on investigating the warehouse. Which reminds me, there's something I need to ask her about. Now that we've pretty much finished investigating Nagato's body, I think it's time for her to talk to her. Hey Sonya, do you have a minute? Yes, what is it? I want to talk to you about when that fake bomb Nagito set in the warehouse exploded. Huh? Right before it exploded, you said something like this, right? It is alright. It is not a bomb. Why did you know the bombs were a fake? Um, well... And that's not all either, when we were looking for the bombs. Why were you in the military base? I thought you were supposed to be searching the central island. Plus, when I called for you, you didn't come to the factory right away. What were you doing during that time? Oh, oh my. Do you, do you suspect me? Yes. It is a misunderstanding. I'm not the killer. Jesus shit, you son of a- amount of bombs there. Huh? Well, At first I was worried that someone might use them for nefarious reasons if I announced them to everyone. So I kept silent the whole time. Does that mean when you heard Nagito planted bombs you got suspicious and went to investigate them? That and as I suspected the bombs had disappeared. I thoroughly searched for them inside the military base but the bombs were nowhere to be found. And because you were searching for them, you were late when we all gathered? Please, and because of that, I reached a conclusion. <sighs> the bombs were brought from the military base, which means they were fake bombs. How did you find out that the bombs of the military were fake? Because I attempted to use one of them. Sonia! What? What? I thought one of the bombs would be strong enough to blast open a door to the ancient ruin. At the time, I, be I still believed the bombs were real. And I thought that if I could use one of them to gain entrance to the ancient ruin. Ah, uh, I get it. Oh, look, Marami's right there! That plan was an utter failure. Look, Marami's hidden right behind things. The bomb was not real. It was merely a fireworks display. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna die! I see. So that's why you're the only one who knew the bombs at the military base were fake. I did. As did Monami as well. She was also secretly peeking at the bomb. Which means... If those bombs were the same ones that disappeared, it would mean Nogito took them. That is why I knew it was a fake. However, I did think it was strange when Nogito blew up the hotel lobby. That bomb was real and I could not stop thinking about it. Upon further reflection, it might have been Nogito's plan all along. He showed us a real bomb to make us believe that the bombs he set were all real as well. If so, then Nogito's actions were extremely calculated. But the problem is, it is reasons for doing it. With this, I have explained everything. Oh my God. There should be no more reason for you to doubt me. I don't doubt you anymore. You're right, I got it. Alright, I pretty much finished looking for clues inside the warehouse. I was able to find some clues, but there's still so many things I don't understand yet. You look worried. Yeah, I am. Well, that 
time like this, it might be good if you broaden your investigation range. You mean it's a good time to investigate other places as well? She might be right. There are several things I've been wondering about besides the crime scene. The military base that Sonya mentioned, the plushie factory next door, Nazumi Castle where the spear originally came from, and Nagito's room too. If I'm going to understand the reason for his actions, I need to know more about him. I'm pretty sure the others have already finished investigating. Hey you guys, isn't it about time we leave this place and try exploring other areas too? In response to Chiaki, the others gathered around her. I agree. I was just thinking about proceeding to another area. It seems we have the same idea. But is it safe? There won't be anyone to guard the crime scene. We don't have a choice. There just aren't enough of us. Besides, we've investigated all we can here. I guess you're right. Also, it looks like the clues we found aren't enough to piece this incident together. So we need to search for them in other areas. Probably. Well, alternatively, if there aren't any clues in other areas either, we'd have to give up completely. You don't really need to say that. <laughs> and then it's okay if we leave this place? It's okay! There's no time for us to stand around. In order to survive, there's no other way except to do it. In order to survive, we need to find Nagito's killer. If we don't sacrifice that person, nobody can survive. That's our reality. That's why there's no time to just stand around. Apparently the bombs that were stuffed on the truck were actually fireworks. Which reminds me, this truck looks like it came from the military base. Nagito must have brought it from there. Other than that, there's nothing particular that catches my eye. That reminds me of when we saw Nagito's video message on this laptop. Is he still watching us from somewhere? If he's not, then how did he time this message so perfectly? Now it looks like the video was set to play after the explosion by a wireless signal from the detonator. But why did he have to use a video message? That's the one thing I don't get. At the time, Nagito should have been already been killed, which means that video was recorded in advance. That's right, besides that video, there must have been data on this laptop that could be is her clue. With that in mind, I tried messing around with the laptop, but it's no use, it's locked. There's no way I can examine this. But if it's locked, then maybe there really is something inside. Maybe I'm overthinking this. I have never seen so many Monokumas in my life. Well, Monokuma isn't exactly someone you'd normally run into. However, while I was staring at all these Monokumas, a thought occurred to me. Well? The bomb that was set off in the lobby might have been set up here. Huh? You if you hide the bomb inside of Monokuma plushie, it would make a frightening weapon. Do you not think that the group that is forcing to kill each other would devise something like that? A plushie bomb is an act of terrorism! Yes it is, and another callback to my first season that y'all should all watch! Let's just rip these apart right away so we can confirm it. Y you go for that. Hold on. If there was a bomb inside these, wouldn't explode if we carelessly some mess with it? Either way, it is all gravy. <laughs> I'm so tired of you, Sonya. I love you. We need to remain friends after all of this. Wait, what's in the back? Oh, wait, that's just the machine. Loki thought that was underwear. All gravy? What the hell does that mean? Stop! There's no bomb! Hey, you know it just by picking me up, you see? And all I can feel is a suck. You're right. Then where did Okito obtain the bomb he used? I wonder! If I'm gonna give you guys a hint, then you should know it wasn't from the military base! To tell you the truth, the bombs are all fake! I know that 
already. You should have said so earlier. Well, I thought if I kept quiet, it would foreshadow that a killing was gonna happen. That's why I'm just now telling you for the first time. Feel alive, feel relieved. But if the bomb wasn't from the military base or the factory, then he brought it from the octagon. I thought we already discussed this. I must say, you have a good eye there, Sonia. something I should not have. Is this a prequel? It's not your fault. Don't worry about it. flashing ornament on it's hanging from the wall. The spear is definitely it, right? This is my thought. It looks exactly like the spear that killed Nagato. The same whip-like cord is attached to the handle and there's weight at the end of it. Also. Plus, it looks like one of those spears on the wall is missing. There's no mistake in it. The killer took one of these spears and used it as a weapon. Spear of Gangnam, right, huh? Monokumo totally came up with that name, name like that. But why did the killer use the spear and the knife? Well, yeah. yeah, they could have just killed him with the knife and it would have been easier too. There's no way a spear like this with an unnecessary cord on it would be an easy to use. Yeah, it definitely looks hard to wield. But still, they chose the spear for a reason. What could that reason be? Killer must have taken the spear from here. Okay. I see. Maybe the spear is actually used for torture too. Torture, huh? but you can't investigate Nagito's cottage. Maybe I should try investigating Nagito's cottage. Oh, it's locked. Apparently. That's what I figured. We can't go inside thanks to that. I'm annoyed. If we both body slam it, there's nothing I can do. I'm gonna investigate another area. What are you going to do? I'm gonna look to, for Monokuma. He might open it for us. Then let me know if we can go inside. Yep. Got it. Say that, but there's no one on this island who can do that. If the bombs were fake, this might be fake too. But I'm not brave enough to check for myself. Pussy! A huge supply of guns and other firearms are stuffed into the truck bed. 
Ah, I found it! Huh, what did you find? Well, that truck over there has guns in it, but I still found something like this. A survive. Oh, a Rambo knife, yeah. Wait, that's... Isn't that the same type of knife that was stabbed through Nagito's right hand? Maybe. Which makes the killer obtain that knife here. So the killer someone who visited into this military by the least once. All of us. That's everyone, though. Not me, this is the first time I've been here. Liar. That sounds fishy. Oh. When I tried looking through the truck bed. It's empty, nothing's here. When I first came here, there was something on the truck bed, which means Sonya was telling the truth. As I suspected, the bombs had disappeared. I thoroughly searched for them inside the military base, but the bombs were now but where to be found. Hold on. There we go. Wait for it. Here we go. But did Nagito know the bombs weren't real? It's possible that he thought that they were the real thing. No, never mind. He said as much in the video message. So, were you surprised? Seriously, think about it. Do you really think there are enough bombs to blow up an entire island? Even if there were, a guy like me would never be able to use them. He knew the bombs were fake. He only did what he did to weed out the traitor. No, is that really it? Did Nagito only do that to expose the traitor? Maybe there was a different motive behind this, his actions. I feel like- I feel a little tired. No matter how much I investigate, I don't feel any closer to the truth. That's probably why I feel this way. I'm feeling this strange feeling I've never felt before. As if Nagito was trying to make us suffer even after he died. Well, now is not the time to think about stupid things like that. You are feeling true despair! <laughs> yeah. I haven't been investigated his cottage yet. It's too early to start complaining. If we investigate that place, we might be able to find some kind of clue. Alright, let's go. I was this there! Okay. Horse! Wait for it. I don't know if this is the last time I'll do this. Ah! Monokuma, you ain't never been shit! I didn't do that. Then do it, cause it's my- ah! Then do it, it's sweet, cause it's made out of black beans! That is not sweet. Hey, we don't have time to mess around. Hurry up and unlock the damn door. Fine, fine. Fine, fine, I guess I have no choice. I just gotta do that, alright? You can freely investigate now! This isn't my first time seeing that, but why does the door open with a spell like that? Maybe the cottage is computerized. More importantly, let's go inside now that the door is open. Yeah, you're right. What the? Oh, oh, the, 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 the bot! So Nagito was living here. What was he thinking inside this room? What was he feeling as he spent his days here? I can't even imagine. Is his room nicer than ours? I'm pissed! Wanting to see absolute hope becoming despair so he could act as a stepping stone for the rest of us. No matter how much I think about it, I just don't understand him at all. 
I don't even know if he truly believed that. He was especially weird these past few days. What changed him? Maybe the clue to that might be hidden here as well. A fancy looking treasure box covered in pink, sparkly pink lights is totally standing out. Ah, could this be? Can you let me know if you find my treasure? It's a magnificent treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights. The treasure box. Jackie, you know about this? It's really cute. I think. Huh? Okay. Oh, she was just reacting. This looks like Monami's stolen treasure box. If this is here, that means the thief Monami was talking about was Nagito. But why would Nagito steal this? In order to find out, it might be good to see what's inside. Hold it. Is it gonna be okay? It looks a little dangerous. It might be, but this could be some kind of clue, you know? If this wasn't important, Nagito wouldn't have stolen it from Monami in the first place. I turned towards I turned back towards the treasure box and cautiously opened the lid. What? Inside there was a notebook. Is it this is it? Why is a notebook inside this treasure box like it's something important? I took the notebook out of the treasure box and began leaping through it. It contained sloppy drawings if they were drawn by children and the entries looked like chicken scratch. I was able to talk to everyone for the first time today. Yakuya became the blank. Everyone's ta- Everyone's blah of things happening. So cool. Bad guy. Wait a minute. Oh yeah. Day one, I was ever- I was able to talk to everyone for the first time today. Monokuma showed up and everything turned bad. Day 2, Byakuya is the leader. A lot of things happened today, so everyone's tired. What is this, a diary? Looks like it. Did Monami write these? Probably. These pictures and entries totally suit her. I kept flipping through the pages. Day 3, day 4, day 5 page after page of poorly written entries continued on in the notebook. I don't really understand it, but it looks like there aren't any clues here. And right when I was about to give up, my hand suddenly stopped on, day, on an entry titled Day 16. Day 16. We've been in the funhouse for three days. Everyone's hungry and on edge. Is that us? <laughs> Haji may try to go into the final dead room today. He's probably panicked because nobody believes him. Huh? Hajime, did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? What? I'm not even gonna say. Oh my- Hey! Stop! Don't look at my notebook! Whoa! From out of nowhere, Monami suddenly appeared and took the notebook out of my hand. Oh! I did- I did ask you to look for my treasure box, but I never said you were allowed to peek inside! Jeez, that was close! If it had come any closer, he would have seen the inside of the notebook! Unfortunately, you were a little too late. Betrayal! I was betrayed by my love students! Hey, hey. 
that, like, you could, like, wrap, like, if you put, you could wrap it around, like, that, and then do that. Samples, I don't know, because I'm the same way, too! Hi, Matt, are you angry that I exposed a weakling like you? closer every second i don't know why you're getting so serious but what has monokuma said true huh he said you didn't write that notebook is it true so yeah if so who wrote it and it Still, I really wanted to ask her about that notebook. Well, actually, it might be better if I didn't ask her. I think I know, and I don't want to know, because if I know what I know, that means that I know who the traitor is. <sighs> there is a refrigerator. Guys, my cottage doesn't even have a refrigerator. I wonder where he got it from. Nagito probably supplied it himself. Hmm. Why would he go the trouble of putting a refrigerator in his room? Does he really enjoy cold drinks? As I talked to Chiaki, I opened the refrigerator out of curiosity. Monokuma special poison for poisoning use only. Oh my god. I want a bottle that says that and just have it, like, filled with something. I don't even know. Huh, there really isn't much inside. Only thing in the refrigerator was this brown bottle. For someone who likes cold drinks, it doesn't look like he's soft very much. But that bottle, it clearly isn't a drink. Right? Well, technically it is a drink. You just don't want to drink it if you want to continue living. Really, it looks like some kind of dietary supplement to me. Protein powder, maybe? If you want the reference, check out season one! <laughs> I took the brown bottle out of the fridge and stared at the reading- and started reading the label. Exclusively made for poisoning someone to death. Hey, this is- Yeah, it looks like poise. Yeah. Looks like it's poison. Poison. <gasps> Looks like there's a warning label on the back. Let's examine it in a little more detail. But be careful with that bottle. Don't drop it. Stop it. If you worry me like that, I'm going to get nervous. I grabbed the bottle and with my trembling hand, I began reading the warning label on the back of the bottle. Poison made specifically for killing someone. It's Monokuma special poison. This is enhanced this enchanted liquid it is highly potent and takes effect immediately please handle with care though its volatility is low this liquid is very dangerous when vaporized oh, blue bear okay in a gaseous state it is heavier than air and breaks down in minutes and it is susceptible to hydrolysis so it is possible for you to poison someone to death without any complications. Keep this liquid secure by storing it in a cool place in a glass or plastic container away from sunlight. Wait, so hydrolysis that... Gatisha... Oh god. It sure does look like a chemical made solely for poisoning someone to death. 
This refrigerator must be kept here to keep the poison secure. But where did Nagito get something like this? From the uh, octagon, too. Well, that question could apply to the bomb he used as at the hotel, too. Applied to the bomb? See? There should be a reason Nagito was able to attain such dangerous items. The octagon inside the funhouse. This poison, he must have brought it with him from there too, right? Perhaps. He was probably hiding them somewhere on his body during the last class trial. He was hiding a bomb and poison during the class trial? <sighs> Jeez, how dangerous. What would he have done if he accidentally tripped and broke the bottle? Just thinking about it scares me. Hey, hey. Also, he already blew up the bomb he took with him at the lobby. But what about this poison? Huh? See? It looks like the bottle is less than half empty. Was it like this from the beginning? Or did Nagito use it? If so, where did he use it? I wonder, is there still a trap somewhere that hasn't been sprung yet? Fuck! Oh shit! Oh, that's not good. Another trap? For example, maybe he was making some kind of trap using this poison before he died. If that actually exists, it'd be really bad. It could potentially kill everyone on this island. Everyone on the island? What the hell? Nagito, are you still trying to make us suffer? Yes! Are you still trying to make us suffer even after you've died? There are a lot of books that ranged here. Did Nagito bring these from the library? In addition to books, there are a bunch of random crap uh, stuffed onto the shelf. It might take a lot of time for us to go to thoroughly go through that stuff. Let's just leave it for later. Yeah, I agree. First, I want to get you, you little bastard. Something hidden under his bed. It's a usual place for hiding things. Yeah, like porn. <laughs> I wasn't expecting them to go there. Like I, I knew that was like the first thing that popped in my head and shit. But I thought that they, like he was gonna be like, I thought Hajime was gonna be like, yeah, like personal thing. Like, I didn't think he was actually gonna say bored. Yes! Well, we should still check it out. He's into snuff, isn't he? With no expectations, and without thinking, I peeked under the bed and... Huh? There's something here. It's a plastic bag from the supermarket. It looks like there's something inside. What? What's this? I love how hyper-realistic that mask is. It looks like a gas mask and rubber gloves. Oh, fuck me. He actually did set a trap with that poison. <sighs> Whew. These look like the real deal. Did he get these from the military base? The gas mask and rubber gloves. He was hiding these under his bed. What did Nagito use this stuff for? Hajime, was there anything else under the bed? Oh, uh, let's see. I peeked under the bed once again and started looking around the area where I found the supermarket bag and... Oh, uh, there's a small piece of paper on the floor. A piece of paper made of blue aluminum. A round thin piece of aluminum, huh? 
It's similar to those seals that go over jars and unopened mayonnaise. I get what you're saying, but does this mean that there's just a piece of trash? Maybe he did drink something. Uh, who knows? It might be too soon to decide that. Oh shit, was this over like the top of the poison? Because we just found the mask and shit. They say a shout is a fear that reflects a person's heart. Oh, so it's it's filled with a lot of garbage and books. Yep. And masks and Pokemon. And broken laptops. And a conch shell. And journals. And ribbons. Electronics that don't work anymore. But mine is garbage. Do they now? I definitely don't know much about Nagito just by looking at this. So what should we do? It'd really be difficult to look through all these places. All these pa- So what should we do? It'd be really difficult to look through all these piles. That doesn't mean we should ignore it, though. Yep. I'll leave it to you then, Hajime. Fuck you! Wait, what? Mm. It's better if a boy goes through another boy's thing. You know, there might be private stuff here. I want to see what kind of porn Nagito was into. That has to be the most- Why does my brain say vor? <laughs> Why does my brain say he'd be into vor? Like, I- <laughs> Bro, that's fucked up, but- But I really want to know now. <laughs> Here's a tip! Everybody go into the comment section right now and type in what kind of porn you think Nagito would be into! <laughs> please, please make me laugh! I gotta see what y'all think. <laughs> well, that might be true, but... So, I'll leave this shelf to you. I think I just got persuaded to do this without realizing it. I like the horsey. I sighed and walked over to the shelf. One by one, I started removing the various books and examining each one. But even if, I, even as I examined them carefully, there were still a bunch of random books and items. There's no way there are any clues here. Up, oh, up! Oh, I know that. Look, I know that. Huh? <sighs> well, that file wasn't the only one I received from Monokuma. This is another one. That seal! Indeed, it is the school badge of... Indeed, it is the school badge from Hope Peaks Academy. Does that have information about our stolen memories? Unfortunately, I couldn't find any clues about that. This file doesn't contain our information, just Hajime's information. Hakiko said this is only contained information about me, but is that really true? If I look at this, it should be obvious, right? And he said I was from the reserve department and had no talent whatsoever. That might be another one of his lies, too. I opened the file and held it in my hand to confirm that. Instantly, I realized something was strange. If this really has only my information, then why is this file so thick? As soon as I opened it, it was clear to me, just as I thought Nagito had lied to me. Aside from my information, there was also information about the others. Kazuichi, Fuyuhika, Akane, and Sonya. And everyone who died had pages of information about them, too. The file contained information on all 16 of us. Only my information, my ass. I can't believe he'd make up such a strange lie. So that means the rest of it might be a lie, too. I turned to the page containing my information and began reading through the content. The profile contained basic information such as my date of birth, my height, my weight, and so forth. But there's one thing that specifically caught my eye. The word reserve course student- Ah. There was no denying it. It confirmed that I truly- 
there was no denying it. It confirmed I truly was a reserve corps student from the reserve department. Why is this the only thing that isn't a lie? Why? Why am I the only one here who's from the reserve department? Why? Why am I here with the other ultimates? Hey, hey. Hajime, did something happen? Uh, well, I just found a strange file. Uh, isn't that the special prize Nagito received when he cleared the final dead room? As I recall, your student profile should be in there. It's not just my profile. The, the profiles of everyone on this island are in here too. Nagito is lying. Huh? When you say everyone, do you mean everyone? Yeah, it's just basic information, but there should be pro profiles for all 16 of us. Can I take a look at that file? Chiaki, Chiaki leaned against me and peered into the file. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any details. Details? Details about our missing memories. Information about the time we spent at Hope's Peak Academy. Hmm. If it's not written in there, these profiles might have been written before we entered the Academy. Then it's impossible to obtain new clues from them. Aw. Yeah, seems like it. Ah, hold on. Huh? Uh, what happened? I just noticed it right now, but... The file. His name isn't in there, right? There's supposed to be 16 names worth of profiles, but his name is the only one missing, right? Hmm? Who are you talking about? Yakuya. I'm talking about Yakuya Togami. What? How are they going to mistakenly leave out our arrogant prince? Look carefully. No matter where I look, I don't see his name anywhere. <laughs> oh my god! <sighs> no way! Oh, what if a name isn't written in that file? Perhaps, based on that, you think he might be the traitor? No, it's not just because his name isn't written here. That's not the only reason I think he's suspicious, but he's dead! He participated in the skilling... in the skilling. He participated in the killing school life at Hope's Peak Academy, right? For someone like him to be in a similar situation on this island, no matter what, it's definitely suspicious. different reason. You're How should I put this? You guys have been getting all worked up about that Biakuya for no reason! Which means... Which means the greatest mystery you think surround Biakuya doesn't even exist! You're basing it on one person's chief speculation! What do you mean? You don't have to ask me that! You didn't know the answer just by looking through those profiles, right? Huh? My eyes turned back to the file. One by one, I started flipping through the pages and confirming the names. And suddenly I came across a page that was filled with a question mark. Every section was filled with question marks. It could barely be considered a student profile. Ultimate imposter. Hey. On that page, I was only able to confirm one thing. Ultimate imposter. Oh, so that's that's that Biakuya's true identity. So that Biakuya that we know wasn't actually Biakuya that we knew. The Biakuya we know is not the Biakuya from the first game. It's like a 2.0. True identity. A fake? Hey, um... The fact that his profile is filled with question marks isn't a mistake or an oversight! Surprisingly enough, that's the correct information regarding him! The ultimate imposter has no name, no permanent 
address, and even his age and gender are unknown. Basically, he doesn't exist. Because he doesn't exist, he's able to exist as anybody. That's his talent. <laughs> Though I'm not jealous of that at all. That the person wasn't really Byakuya Togami? Is that why he was so much better compared to when he was involved in the killing school life? So oh, his face cool. doesn't affect his ability to fool others at all! The real imposter is scaled like that! Then he was lying to us the whole time? But still... But he couldn't help it. What? Why couldn't he help it? That's his talent! That's the only thing he could do! Because that was his talent. Huh? Well, having a talent means you're also bound to that talent. The moment you obtain talent, your way of life has already been chosen for you. You can't do anything except rely on that talent. Regardless of whether you want that life or not. <laughs> trying to say to me at that time I cannot talk to others about my past I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame distrusting others and being distrusted in turn for a long time my life has been a living hell leads back to our memory loss. Jeez, the future foundation sure is awful. There's no way you should ignore Monami or the traitor. Who is it? Who's the traitor? Just from looking at these 16 profiles, I still wouldn't know from the future foundation. Is there really someone like that? profile for the traitor and included it in here? Correct. That wouldn't be fun if you figured out who the traitor was so easily, right? Hey, hey. And we can't use this file to figure out who the traitor is. That was true for Nagito too, right? Mm. Well, probably. Now, it felt like a super short investigation. What is most important for living things? Water. Well, personally, I think time is. Fair enough. I mean, your bank account may go up and down, but time will inevitably run out, right? That's why we gotta cherish time. There is nothing more wasteful than wasting time. So, time's up. We will begin the last class last. trial, so please gather at Monokuma Rock. <laughs> I'll see you soon. L last class trial? He said that, right? He said the last class trial. 
Yep. Yeah, I heard it too. He really did say it was the last class trial. What do you think? Should we believe him? Um, Monokuma seems anxious about the Monokuma timer earlier, right? Two more days. He'd said something about the killing school trip ending, right? Based on the time, it might. This might definitely be the last one. But still. But I can't imagine it's the real end. Huh? I think Monokuma's real plan might be just beyond that. His real plan? Is Monokuma still planning to make us do something? What could it be? After putting us through all this, he's planning to kill the remaining survivors all at once? Well? But still, it's not a good idea to think about it too much. I think. I think we should focus on the class trial that's waiting for us first. You're right. A class trial for Nagito's murder. We're pretty screwed. I haven't collected my thoughts because we were so focused on the file. I still can't see who killed Nagito. But still... Well, you don't have to worry so much. Huh? Right? I mean, we're not fighting alone, you know? You're right. You're absolutely right. We're not alone. Even if it's a mystery that can't be solved alone, as long as everyone cooperates and works together. Yeah, if we do that, things will turn out fine. Alright, we're gonna end it right here so we don't... So I can have a good place to save. Alright, so, from what we got... Uh, he died right before we went into the thing, the, the factory. The only person who wasn't with us during the time that he was suspected of dying and a little beforehand was Sonya, but I don't want to believe it's her because I love Sonya and she said, shit, Jesus, shit, you son of a bitch. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh my god, she's starting to become- I honestly, it would have been hilarious if like, this was real and I was with her because I feel like she would start picking up some- on some of the slang, like, I talk and shit. So I- I would have loved to see that. Uh, but, so, as far as the murder goes. Uh... I have an idea, and I don't like what- the idea is and I also about that little booklet I have an idea from the page 16 that whole entry about us I think I know who wrote that journal and if I know who wrote that journal I know who the traitor is because whoever wrote it is obviously working with Monami so that's the traitor but then it leaves a question mark as to something that has happened, but I don't want to, like, say everything I'm thinking right now, because I'm afraid that what I'm thinking is right. But I also don't know how the traitor connects with Nagito's murder right now. I feel uh, like once the trial starts happening, I know more things will come to light and I'll understand a little better, but right now I'm kind of still in the dark. Anyway, uh, if you like what you see, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe so you can see my content in the future. Also, while you're here, why don't you take a guess at what Nagito likes to watch for porn? Leave it down in the comment section below and hey, if you want to, just say hi. I'm Daisy Hyena and I'll catch you on the next vid.